This sounds marvelous, but what are song calls? I, I like the idea of song calls, whatever they may be. Uh, well, where are the song calls? I really kind of need to be doing other things, though. So maybe in there? No idea. Got some quests back that way. Recover what he stole from the caravan. A remarkable reward box. Oh, I bet this is going to be one where I need to use my focus to track him. Have I got the track highlighted? Yeah. Okay, be right back. Don't ask me how I know which way he went without having to ask you. Best you don't know. You'd give me weird looks. Actually, no, they probably wouldn't. I don't think those are Nora. Those look like Kaja. They had the, um... They had the same sort of uh, eye markings as Nil did. I think it was Kaja. Certainly not Nora. Noras don't have soldiers, they have braves. There we go. Ooh. Hello, Dorid. Who are you? The caravan sent me. Caravan? What caravan? The one you sabotaged. You figured no explosive arrows meant no survivors, no witnesses to your crime. Oh, wow, wait. Oops. Look, stranger, I have debts. If I don't pay, the dicers will gouge out my eyes. Uh, looks like. I was gonna say the dicers are already here, but that doesn't look like that. What, what are you? What on earth is this? Uh, ambusher with a light bending stealth. Oh, of course. Of course. They can be invisible as well. Uh, Magniti X, thank you very much for the prime sub. Oh, they're Osoram. Okay. So Nil is Osoram, okay. Um... The Osaram are what uh, are Erin's tribe. Um, anyway, ambusher with light bending stealth abilities, explosive minds, and a powerful ranged attack. Uh, right. Okay, so dart gun. Destroying this component disables the ranged dart attack. Mine launcher. Destroying this component disables the explosive mine attack. Stealth generator. Destroying this component disables the stealth ability. Yeah, I kind of want that not to be there. I'll be honest, yeah. You also have luminous braiding. Oh, my God. Everything. Everything. Ow! That really bloody hurts. Will you stop? Right, okay, good. I need to be somewhere where those mines are not. What is it shooting at? Is it shooting at where it thinks I was? Hello. I think that's where it's, uh... There we go. Haha! -ha! That's what you get, you scallywag! I think I've taken out its stealth ability. That's gonna make this a lot easier. Nope. Nope. Okay, you're a little bit tougher than the other things, I thought. Very well. Nope. I really don't have to deal with that mine launcher, I'll be honest with you. Nope, that is not the right attack! Why? No, no, no. Ha ha! Uh, just in time. And again. Okay. So know where I am? I have no idea, but I need to heal. Um, we're seriously on ammo, but it has lost all of its main components. That's the main thing. I kind of want to drop another electric trap. Well, that hurt it by shooting her in the eye. It's down. Oh, what? Okay. Oh, it's not down for long, though. And one heavy strike. They should be down for good. Nope, not yet. Okay, there. Ooh, ha, 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 ha. Dear Lord, that was nasty.
That burnt off almost all of my stock. Well, in fact, the, the remainder of my health potions. For one thing. And... Whoa. A lot of my healing items. I'm going to need to grind to you. get some of these back. That was rough. That first tear arrow, though, really helped because it knocked off the stealth generator. That was a big help. That was an enormous help, actually. If I hadn't have had that. Okay. Hello. You alive? The caravan. Did they live? Yes. I got to them in time. Thank you. As I turn and embrace the sun, may he burn away m my sins. Oh, what a waste. Okay. At least he died better than he lived. He literally just... I mean, he died running away. If that was better than he lived. Ah, I guess. I don't know. But... but oof. Alright. Well, that was pretty cool, though. Didn't see how much damage those mines could do, but that bloody dart gun it had was... Serious problems. Yeah, that, that, that stalker thing. Everything else seemed to exist in nature. That stalker, that, that was just full-on military. That was stealth, sniping, mines. Everything else seems to be fitting into some sort of ecological role, but I can't, I can't say what role that fit into. That, that seemed more or less just a straight-up um, military-style uh, weapon. Have I gone the wrong way? I have gone the wrong way. Oh, okay. Oh, wait, no, I'm... Yeah, I got completely turned around in that fight. Super my bad, I'm not used to that. Uh, Pyrode Asu makes a very good point. The Corruptors also don't seem to fit an ecological role. Well, actually, no, no, that that's not necessarily true. There's plenty of parasitic um, things in life. Even to the point that they, they hijack a host while it's still alive. Whereas that creature, it seems to exist only to fight. I'm, I, I'm not entirely... Yeah, I'm not, I'm not ready to sign off on the, on, the, on the Corruptors not having a role. I think we'd need to see more of them. We've only really seen them once. So... But that thing, the whole stealth tech, eh, that, that is definitely getting into sort of, yeah, this thing is built for the military kind of idea. I mean, again, we, I just haven't seen the, the Corruptors very much, so I can't really have to put too much, uh, say too much about them, I guess, but uh, still. I enjoy theory crafting about this sort of stuff, at the very least. Grab all of this. There we go. Plenty of regular arrows, if nothing else. We've got enough metal shards, although that is my currency. To make redonkulous amounts of arrows. Quick save. Right. Hello, friends. I bring you back your song box thing. Song cores. You're back. And with the song cores, I see. And to read? A, uh, stalker got him. It wasn't pretty. And you beat a stalker. That's worth a bonus. Here, take my share. You've earned it. Wow. I'll see to the caravan from here. I think the rest of the trip will go smoother. That is a very interesting offer, actually, from the sort of the, the leader of the caravan. To give away his share of any earnings.
Okay, so there were three carts. One has now been very heavily laden. I don't see that one going anywhere. That wheel is stuck in the dirt. Actually, both of them. They've made room for it. Uh, maybe he cares about more about his uh, people than, than himself. Maybe he's already wealthy enough, but it, it isn't going to hurt to to lose the profit of one trip. Either way, a very kind gesture. All right, we've got a long ways to go. Uh, another battle back site. Another campfire on the way. <gasps> Three skulls, yes. There we go, that's what we've been saving up for, the double shot. Okay, use R1 while aiming to notch an additional arrow on all bow weapons. Avak, you'll really enjoy learning more about the lore as you explore, I hope. This is definitely something the devs thought about. Okay, okay, I am really, really enjoying what I'm discovering. The, the game is doing a fantastic job of, of, of telling the story without telling too much. Even, hmm, I'm starting to see a pan here, now that you mention it. The grazers consuming flora, uh, and turn it into energy in the canister. Oh, is that, that why they've got those blaze canisters? Right, okay. Scrapper is scavenging materials, the watcher is defending them so they can do their work uninterrupted. All of that maybe to keep the factories running without human supervision. Hmm, just theorizing. Yeah, that, that does seem... Yeah, that, that would make sense. If uh, if they are working around the cauldrons like some sort of hive, then it would make sense that the, the scrappers are going out, breaking down any any obsolete or damaged beyond repair robots, uh, returning the materials back to the cauldron. And yeah, I hadn't really thought about it, but the grazers were... Well, well, what? What function did the striders fill then, at that point? If the grazers are gathering blaze by, I don't know, like maybe it's made of some sort of plant oil or something? That would make sense, I hadn't considered that. But they have a lot of those canisters on them, whereas everything else seems to have like one. And it seems to be, uh, or, or at the very least, now that you mention it, it, it could easily be considered that that is their fuel source. Whereas the um, the grazers were gathering the fuel, and then they would drop it off, and that would no doubt power other things, um, including the, the the factories themselves. Yeah, it makes sense. Some sort of bio uh, biofuel. Yeah, that that's actually pretty cool. Maybe the metal flowers then to seed more plant life and uh, greenery to, to ensure that there's enough biofuel around for the future. It's all sort of fitting into place, but why are the machines like that? What they on? Is it just some... Because it doesn't really have the, the, the spark of a, of a system designed to be like that. Uh, you know, it doesn't seem like... I don't know. It doesn't speak to me so much of, like, some some sort of catastrophe level AI got loose, wiped out humans, then decided to grow plants and to gather the plants with... with... with, uh... with grazes and, and, and started to copy nature. I, uh, I don't know. I, I could be completely wrong about that, of course, but uh, it's very interesting. Again, the theory crafting is wonderful with stuff like this. Just loads of striders. I don't need to worry about them there. I'm just one pack. But again, uh, the theory crafting aside, I, 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 I'm a little bit uh, nervous because we are moving into territory where people could uh, quite, quite accidentally um, uh, put out spoilers there. Campfire right there. This is, by the looks of it, a corrupt site. We saw that weird, like, um, artifact over the ground. Yeah, corrupted zone. So that's what those mean, then. Level 18? Sure, I'll clear it. It's, uh, one level lower than I am. Can I get this active first? You think chat knows the difference between theorizing... Uh-oh. Uh-oh. I am not here. 
I am absolutely here. I was 100% out of the, out of the, I was on a tiny little bit of regular grass in amongst all of the, the red grass. Ah, oh, Tilly, Tilly, no, no, you're going to kill me. Okay, Tilly wants my attention. I will be right back. Come on then, carry out. <laughs> I'm glad the camera wasn't on. Come here, sweetie. Okay. Did you miss me, chat? Uh, okay. I've got a lot of inventory right now. Let's have a quick gander through. Oh, we've got loads of inventory space. Though. Uh, can I take these? Yes, I can, finally. And I believe... With all of that, the luminous braiding, we can now get what we need for the Kaja sling. All right, then. Got corrupted versions of pretty powerful enemies here. Kind of feel that I want to take these out without fighting the big one first. What are you? Do I even know what you are. You're a corrupted charger. So no, no, you're new. Uh, I have, however, got overrides on it. It's mountable. When a threat is attacked, these herd machines will actively pursue an attack in numbers. Blaze canister, horns, destroying this component disables the charge attack. It's got chainsaw horns. My lord. Charger. Charger. Uh, okay. Can I override a corrupted machine? Is the question. It's on my mind. Um. Can go wrong. That's right. Over here. Get you? That's it. Perfect. Now we'll see if I can override it. It'll let me know one way or the other. It'll either give me the ability to do a uh, sneak attack, or it'll. Do you have to walk back right now? Come on. Silent strike, please. Silent strike. Strike. Come on. There we go. We did not kill it. That is unfortunate. Okay, critical now. Then I've got to really be out of here. Because death is coming for me. Okay. Oh my lord. Right, okay. Nope. Um, what kind of weapons do I want? Actually, let me check. All corrupted things, I believe, are weak to fire. Alright. Blast, blast, blast. None of those are particularly useful for me. The rope cast is useful, but I don't have much ammo for it. Um, the war bow is not useful for me. Because currently... Well, actually, no, that's the sharp shot bow. Right, okay, let me pop that there then. Like some, I can only assume this will be useful against charges. I look, nope. I dropped it. 
Yep, I did. Come on. And critical, please. I am not safe when I'm doing that, by the way. This is not one of those games where if I'm attacking something, I can... Uh... Oh, finish deploying the trap. Okay, I'm fine. Okay, and... Nope, it's over there. Oh, that's going to hurt. Oh, okay, it's down. Get the kill. I am, however, suffering corruption now. Well, that's really annoying that uh, my trap was wasted like that, but uh, sure. Uh, I should have plenty of the means to set these traps. No thanks. Uh, okay. Okay, critical. Should take that one out. Oh, that was a high price for that. High price. And then you scoundrel. I will totally. There we go. Let's keep you down for a bit. Oh, damn you. I knew that was coming. Kill it. Ow. Get over here. No, I need to get the criticals. Go. Okay, I am struggling uh, straight into fight. I should have run away from the group. Going for those critical hits was a big mistake. Uh, you do get da uh, corruption damage. And that, that was what was ultimately took me down there. I couldn't out-heal the corruption. And that... Uh, oh, what happened there? Oh, right, that was a manual says. I don't know. Back to having quite a few of them to deal with. Alright, let's uh, get my weapons back together then. Tripcaster instead of the ro regular bow. I could use the rope caster to take out the battle back. That may well be a good move. The problem that I've got here is that they don't easily go down. Now, though, let's go ahead and plonk one of these right there. Then, try and summon you to me. Ready? Okay, I'm gonna have to wait then. Need to make sure I don't accidentally summon the battle back. There we go. Now it should walk straight over that fire. And if I can time this right, just make sure I'm quite far away from the explosion. Yeah, that's the way I'm looking at this. The, the Bellowback is the main threat here. Now they're hunting me. Good. Come along, you. I just clonked on the head with a rock. Don't take that line down. closer. Get ready with whatever I want to hit it with, though. Come on. That's right. Explosion right about there. Bella back is unfortunately right next to us. Come on. You can do this. 
Okay, maybe a combat. Right next to me. Oh no, here it comes. Ah, uh, damn it, I was a little bit too close. Hello. Please go down. Go on the other side. And take it down again if I can. That's one out of the game. Right, okay. Need to be on the move. Hello! Uh, and then... Oh, damn it. Come on. Will you please go over my carefully laid traps? You little swine. Stop leaving, leading me over your carefully laid traps. I disapprove. Okay, let's grab something that's going to hurt a bit. Well then. Has not gone quite according to plan, but sure. Rather you not. Okay. Oh wow. <laughs> that I don't believe was the the bellow bag causing all of that damage. I think I rolled into the proximity of my blast trap as the bellow bag ran straight into it. So yeah, that was that was sucky. All right, it's maybe too high of an area for me to really be taking on. But the other thing I can do is I can genuinely just take out the Valabak for now, deal with the ads because it, it'll go down for a long time once I do. Let me once again switch out my trip caster with my regular bow. Now, the question is... That one held. There we go. Now I can focus on the others for a bit. It's 100% worth me doing this right now, I feel, just to get that thing down. It's still down for, like, half of the, the time that that thing takes things down for. Oh, that hurt. Okay, that was unfortunate. Please stay down. Again. Okay, that really hurt. Nope. Oof, needed that. Break it out. Okay, the battle back is back up and running. Uh, that is unfortunate for me, I'll be honest. Right, let's try and take you down. While well, it's just stood there, being an empty. I got need some more of these. Here we go again. I think they've lost me. How? I've no idea, but sure, I'll take it. Now I know there's some grass up here that I can use to stealth in. Main thing I need is to take the bellow back down again. One. Don't be too proud of yourself. It's basically just 
standing there like, what on earth are you trying to do? It's more that it couldn't understand you were that bold than you were actually achieving it. Okay. There we go. Get the crystal strikes in. We've already stacked up one regular attack there. So now we've done that, I should be able to follow up with the uh, freeze. Go. There we go. Um, let's take off some parts if we can. It's not happy with me. It is super not happy with me, actually. It's fine. Come on. Really? Where did that one go? Need more. Look. Actually, I did manage to hit it the first time. Reasonably impressed with that, actually. Right. I need more ammo quite badly, but I no longer have any, so this is going to be a rough time for me. Ooh, especially if I get caught in it. Right, I need to switch out my ammo because we are in a rough place. Uh, I could take that, but I think I'd rather something with more general damage capabilities. Nope. Uh, of course, no does not mean much in this right now. It can still use flame attacks, unfortunately, for me. Oh, that was a waste. Gonna bring you down. There we go. Oh, ouch. Always messing that up by uh, attacking them a little bit too close. Fire should take it out at this point. Oh. Okay, what was that? Three or four times the charm? The Karja Fort will let me pass over the mountains. Oh. Apparently, we can. Uh, we've already accidentally completed a quest. Well, I'm not against that, I suppose. Oh, nice. Then we get charge lens, okay. But yeah, that was like four times the, the charm, I think. Painful, but oh well. And we got a vista as well. We have. Oh, it's just a trap. I don't mind that one. Uh, that being said, maybe I can increase the carrying capacity of the traps. Yeah, I can. So I may as well. What are we looking at? Sparkling Malachite Amphitheater. The Parker's Shit Storm Tour, Day 5. Gray swarms open for turtle smash the night I OD'd here. Or so the police report said, anyway. I was 15 years old. When I woke in the hospital, two days later, your face was the first thing I saw. Let's have a look at that, uh, the text entry for that one. Oh, wow. We're all the way over here now. Hi, Ma. 
I don't remember anything about the concert, the bands, the music, the crowd. I was too throttled on skydive and snake that night to distinguish the thunder of bash call from the roar of blood in my head. And then I ran across a pusher who was selling razor wing for eight bucks a tab. That's right, razor wing. A certain designer stimulant named after a certain late 30s fighter craft that our family had a certain unpleasant association with. So I declined the offer, heeded the ominous portent and got the hell out of there, right? Or maybe what I did was buy four tabs and take them all at once. Yeah, did that. According to the police report, I went berserk and attacked the pusher, then set fire to his stash, and then went after the security drones that showed up. I didn't get far. The drones put 50,000 volts through me, which wouldn't have been such a big deal if my heart hadn't already been hammering along at triple time. The shock flat out killed me. The med bots came fast as they could, but the first glitched out and the second got hung up in the crowd, so I was dead for almost two minutes. And even after they revived me, my condition was touch and go on account of all the substances sloshing through my veins. When I came out of the coma, your face was the first thing I saw. You'd been crying. Your makeup was smudged, dark lines down your cheeks. When our eyes met, I expected you to start yelling. And weak as I was, I was ready to yell back. Not even a coma could break my defiance. You didn't yell. You quietly asked Wyatt to wait in the hall, then pushed your chair right up against the edge of my bed and took my hand. I wanted to jerk my hand back, but I couldn't. It wasn't the strength of your grip that stopped me, but the warmth of your hand. The gentleness with which you took mine. When you spoke, your voice was quiet, just above a whisper. When I lost your Baba seven years ago, you were my only reason to go on living. Your gaze lifted to the medical equipment surrounding us, the tubes and blinking lights. You shook your head. Why do you live like no one loves you? Don't you realize that if you die, all my hopes and dreams, all the hopes and dreams of your father die with you? You reached and touched my hair, and like a thundercrack, I broke. Maybe I was just snapping back together. I lay there, sobbing, for what felt like years. The whole time, you never took your hand away, and I didn't either. The next day I agreed to go into treatment. I wish I could say I never picked up again, but as we both know, that's not exactly how things turned out. Wow. I'm super invested in this story. <laughs> My lord. Okay. I really want to see where that goes. I wonder how many people play the game, though, and, and don't actually pay attention to those sorts of things. Because they are, for all intents and purposes, just optional little bits and bobs you can do. Chocolate box log. Okay. The latest meaningful conversation on chocolate box. Was this the love connection moment you'll tell your grandkids about? You can opt out of receiving these logs at any time by editing your chocolate box profile. Serafina, hey. Lars, hey. How's it going? Fine. Bored though. Yeah, Wednesday night. You're really cute, Lars. Thank you too. What? Oh, thanks you too, rather. Hey, do you want to chat with me in my private salon? Oh, you're a honeybot. Hahaha, <laughs> what? No, silly. Okay, if you're not a honeybot, tell me about the most earth-shattering work of art you've ever seen. You're funny, Lars. Tell me about the last time you experienced heartache. You're funny, Lars. Tell me about an experience your friends enjoyed, but about which you were ambivalent. Hey, do you want to chat in my private salon? Holy crap, you're not even a good honeybot. You suck. You're funny, Lars. Lars has ended this conversation. Well done, Lars. Ah, bloody honey bots. My lord. I honestly never realized the text on those wasn't just a transcript of the audio. I'm kind of sorry I missed all that extra content, but at least I'm getting them now. Good morning, Hinata. Oh, that was a that was a difficult fight up there, to, though. To be fair, that was genuinely a hard fight. Um, 
But apparently we've automatically completed a, a, a quest. Ah, uh, uh, that's almost a shame because I I'm not entirely sold on completing quests before I know I've got them. As I I feel that that often leads me to miss out on the quest dialogue. If that makes sense. Oh, have I not seen that one? Oh no, th those are grayed out. So I haven't actually visited those locations. I really should at some point. Huh? But at any rate, let's uh, continue on our way. Hey, Abak, when did you come back and start your stream again? I was waiting till half past five. Oh, I'm so sorry about that. I, I ended up having having a, a sleep. I uh, took Lady Shelab's advice and uh, grabbed two or three hours of sleep, uh, along with uh, getting packing done and all that. Um, and then went out for a drink just to, you know, pump my legs, get the blood pumping, see other people, talk to other people. You know the normal stuff you need to do so you don't go stir crazy when you do the job I do. Um, but uh, I ended up streaming uh, about three hours ago. Um, so yes. Uh, this, I will be leaving today. This stream will go on for about another three hours-ish, maybe. And then I am off. I've pretty much prepped everything ready, so I just need to get myself to the airport, basically. Okay, got another thing over here. To all uh, Jess, Jesse fans. Okay, let's have a look. Okay, I want to get something off my chest right now because this needs to be said. To all Jesse fans and to the entire Romantic Fortunes fan community, Jessica Sterling should not win Romantic Fortunes. This is so obvious to anyone who actually pays attention. I used to be like you guys last season. I wanted Jessica to win, but as of episode 3.01, she has gone too far. Were you people even watching when she rejected Louis, the sweetest human being on the planet? He stood by her through everything. An Alaska acquisition? That time the Harrier bot malfunctioned mid-battle? The only reason Jessica has had any success is because Louis had her back. He loves her, and she doesn't even care. This is why I am throwing my support behind Vernon. I do not take this decision lightly. I was a Jesse fan for two whole seasons. Jessica is the whole reason I even care about Sterling Mal uh, Malkeet. But as a fan, I cannot continue to support someone so heartless. Louis, you can do better. <laughs> oh my god. This is practically Big Brother all over again. I'm fairly certain I've seen people say more or less that about people in Big Brother. My lord. No, seriously, Louis, you can do better than Jessica. That'll help. Devil's Grief. Okay. Ah. Has much happened storyline-wise? Um, we've been to a cauldron. That was kind of cool. Also, we checked out a couple of quests in Mother's Crown. And we are currently nearing what I can only assume is roughly the direction of the uh, metal ring. I'm a little bit concerned that without wire, I'm going to really struggle because I'm, I'm way down on all of my really powerful weapons. Oh no, Cassie, you're alright. Forest fire on a bus line. Well, that would suck, given your job. You get. That would be the equivalent of Twitch's service ca catching fire, given my job. Equally powerless to resolve the situation, equally at the mercy of the situation being resolved. Ooh, sawtooths. I can... I can... Um... Oh no, oh no, sawtooth right there. I can't see any any highly red grass. Ah, my, my, my luscious red locks. They will give me away. Hello, sawtooth. Uh, that is not going to be happening. 
because it can see me and I've got nowhere to hide. Um, I need a place to hide so I can override a sawtooth. Okay, they've got a place on. I really just want to see what having a sawtooth puppet is like. Come hit a sawtooth. That's right. Over here. Mm-hmm. That's right. That's right. Come on now. No, no shake no shaking your shoulders at me. Come on. Little scandal here. Find a spot. Where's the red grass? That being said, I suppose I don't actually. I just need to stun it. Thanks. Oh, that was such a bad shot. There we go. Now then, I would like you to be overridden. Hold still. It's fine. It'll tickle a little bit, but I'm going to give you a whole new world view. Now, those watchers who were kind of helping you, they are now delicious, delicious robot noms. Marvelous. Perfect. I want to ride you, though. No, come, come. What good is having a giant saber-toothed robot if I can't ride it? You are such a disappointment. Oh, my lord. Such a disappointment. This, this is what, what what it is to be a like just just one massive disappointment after the next well yes yeah, sawtooths are not mountable I know that now I didn't know that before I needed oh, to try uh, and be bitterly disappointed I was part of the bargain I guess oh, well at least they they're probably really solid fighters so Shall I rest at the campfire? I guess so. That is part of my thing. Devil's grief. Foreboding sight, huh? Don't you ever wonder what it used to look like? Back when the old ones lived here. You're not like other Nora. That's what they tell me. War Chief. I wonder if the face paint is Our like scouts found enemy camps in the ruins. A mark of guarding the family. the approach to the Ring of Metal. Then we should hit those camps first. Make sure they stay quiet. Agreed. Wipe out the camps, and our enemies in the Ring of Metal won't see us coming. I'll take out the alarms. We'll send braves to each camp to lie in wait. Would you start? They'll help finish. Okay. So if I do a really good job, they don't have to get involved. Is what I just heard. <laughs> 